Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Mayor Trevino, IRS representatives uh, Juan Carrizales and Jennifer Hill from the IRS Austin office, members of the coalition here joining us this morning, uh, the library, Mary Solis, uh, Richard Rodriguez from the library as well, uh, Vita staff, Patricia Hernandez, Heidi and Leslie from Azteca Economic Development. Uh, we're here today to try to drum up support in the community to get uh, volunteers trained and ready for the 2025 tax season. Founded in 2009, the mission of the Laredo Family Economic Success Coalition is to make a positive difference in the lives of families, assisting them to become financially stable, self-sufficient in partnership with community organizations. <clears throat> The coalition represents Laredo and the surrounding area by providing outreach, financial education, free income tax assistance, asset building, and promotion of federal tax benefits. The Laredo Family Economic Success Coalition uh, for the next 90 days is actively seeking volunteers for the volunteer income tax assistance programs for 2025 tax system that will begin in late January 2025. That is why we are here to enlist the support of the Mayor of Laredo, the City of Laredo, because one of uh, the biggest uh, VITA tax centers is the City of Laredo, mainly at the main public library, one of the biggest preparers of income taxes. We're seeking tax preparers, greeters, interpreters uh, needed to provide this free, and I want to mention again, this preparation of uh, taxes is free. Become a volunteer. We have flexible hours. The training is at no cost to the volunteer. No experience is necessary, just a willingness to help. You can reach us at 956-307-8138 or vitalaredo.org. And I would like to call on the mayor for some words on behalf of the VITA program. Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Right. Good morning, Dr. Victor Trevino, mayor for the city of Laredo. I'm pleased to be here when it comes to recognizing this service in our community. We're underserved in many areas, medically underserved, and um, sometimes uh, educationally underserved, and people that don't have the access to have the knowledge on how or if they need to do their income taxes. A lot of people have not done them taxes in years, so and they, they don't know that they need to do them. They think that because they're in a fixed income, they're, they're depending on their social security check, they don't have to do anything. So all of this is important to educate them. The Volunteer Income Tax Assistance, VITA program, does crucial work in providing free tax preparation services to Laredo residents with filing their taxes, making sure their refunds can be expedited. And when feasible, it does help the economy in a way that they didn't, they didn't even know that they had money coming back to them in certain locations. So anytime we have organizations that provide services and promote volunteers, we're more than happy to partner with them and to see that they succeed. And with this, uh, if they succeed, elderly people that succeed, uh, people that are compromised either physically or, or mentally succeed, this is a plus for Laredo. And we need to have our citizens up to par. We need to have our citizens ed educated so we can be a strong community because it is important to our city because we are not only the number one port in the country, but we are people that care for each other. So thank you very much for your services. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'd like to call on the uh, IRS Juan Carrizales from the SPEC office in Austin, Texas to explain to us or tell us what to expect this coming tax season. Good morning. Buenos dias a todos. Uh, muchas gracias a todos por estar aquí. 
Uh, it's a pleasure for me to be here in Laredo. Uh, I co we come from Austin, Texas. Uh, we're the IRS. We represent uh, stakeholders, partnerships, education, and communication. Uh, we're very proud of uh, partnering with Laredo. We have great, we've done great things uh, over the years here, and we hope to continue doing great things to help the community. Uh, we're here today to, for volunteer recruitment. Uh, as Mr. Torres says and, and the mayor, uh, we're looking for people to help us. The more volunteers we have, the, the more people we can help. Este, so no importa si no saben inglés, usted puede ser voluntario, nosotros los podemos entrenar. So it's not just English and Spanish, we're looking for help for everybody, high school students. We have a great high school uh, program at both uh, LISD and U United ISD. But if, you, if they're not volunteering there because of the hours, they can always come to the coalition. We have a lot of sites here that we can also help. So this is a community program. That's the beauty of this program. We help each other, as the mayor says, in Laredo. Now, one of the best things that I've, I've, I've come to Laredo representing the IRS since uh, 2010. And one of the beauties about Laredo is that people help each other. You know, I know we have this Texas thing, but you guys take it to another level here in Laredo. So it's a, it's a privilege and an honor for me to represent Laredo, Webb County, because we do a lot of help, not just with this program, but I see with the food bank, with other organizations, that everybody's always helping each other. And that's the beauty of Laredo. And we're going to continue doing great things. Um, this year, for the upcoming year, we can help anybody that makes under 75000 We can help prepare your taxes. And we're here. All our volunteers are trained by the IRS, and nobody else can say that. No pay preparer, so everybody that we that's helping you is trained by us at the IRS. IRS provides every product, software, everything to prepare the taxes. So you can feel at ease knowing that somebody qualified is preparing your taxes. And the tax business is so big. I don't want people to think that we're taking business from anybody. No, the, it, this is so big that there's enough for the pay preparers and there's enough for the people that need the help. And that's what we're here for, to help the people that can't pay somebody. And we... we I know the predatory lending has been still going on. That's one of the things that we take. It's not just the tax preparation that we do here in Laredo. We have asset building and financial literacy for you as well. We partner with banks uh, that can help you. You know, if you want to buy a home, if you want to buy a car, educate yourself on interest rates. You know, one of the best examples I can tell you, you know, somebody is buying a new truck and they don't even know what interest rate they paid. They're like, oh yeah, my payment is $900. Well, how much of that is interest? Well, I don't know. That's part of the education process that we do at the IRS and with their excellent partners that we have here, as Mr. Torres mentioned. Uh, we do a great job of educating you on what to do. Asset building is it's so important, you know, not to spend everything, but to save because it does help the community. You know, one of the biggest things that we do with EITC, the Earned Income Tax Credit, is that comes back multifold. We have what's called a multiplier. So th this past year, you know, we prepared uh, over 4,000 returns and brought $7 million. Well, that $7 million becomes $28, $30 million that gets to be spent here in the Laredo community. So I, I, I joined the mayor and Mr. Torres and, and saying, we are looking for you. Come volunteer with us. You will learn not just about your taxes, but continue helping your community. So that's what we're here for. The IRS is very proud to partner here with all our excellent partners, HEB and the city, the county. We're looking forward to helping people. And that's what we're here for. So nobody should be afraid of the IRS, well, unless somebody's auditing you, right? If we have another department, so we won't talk about those guys. But that's what we're here for, for us to prepare your taxes for free so you can sleep better at night. Not worrying that somebody did them incorrectly because you got a bigger refund. That's not what tax system's about. It's about how much you're supposed to be getting. If you're going to owe, make sure it's the correct amount. And if you're going to get a refund, make sure it's correct. Because I always tell people it's better to sleep better at night than knowing that Uncle Sam's going to come for you one of these days with those letters. And you'll see an IRS agent there. So that's what we're here for, to educate you, to do the taxes correctly, to help one another. And I hope we can continue growing this program because it's an excellent program. And like I said, it does bring a lot of money in, and that money stays here in Laredo. It doesn't go anywhere else with pay preparers. It goes somewhere else. All that money that we help, that, all that money stays here. So those uh, 4,000 returns that we did, you're talking almost a million dollars. It stays here. It doesn't go somewhere else. So that's a big benefit to this program. So again, I don't want you to just think that we're just preparing taxes. No, we're asset building, we're financial literacy, we're here to help you. And Mr. Torres uh, and uh, Ms. Patti Arasteca do an excellent job. The city with Maria, with, with Mr. Richard, uh, from ex-retired teacher from Martin High School, one of the godfathers of this program, we're here to help you guys. And we have a lot of excellent volunteers, a lot of excellent partners, but like I said, we, we need more, because there's a lot of help that we need to help everybody here in Laredo that needs the help. So thank you so much for being here, um, and you guys have an excellent day.
Again, Mr. Mayor and Cito Loreo, thank you very much for allowing us to uh, get out into the uh, City of Laredo public access audience to apprise them of this. Uh, once again, if you need more information, you can call 956-307-8138. And if you want to volunteer, very easy, just go to Vida Laredo, V-I-T-A-L-A-R-E-D-O.org and register on the website and we'll be in touch with you uh, in terms of scheduling and uh, any other information that you might need. Thank you very much and have a good morning.